Well, hello everybody. It's Billy Bob again here, and today's Easter. I want to wish you all a happy Easter, each and every one of you. And, uh, yep, it's, a, it's that time of year. You know what? I went out today, and I was really surprised to see how many people or how many businesses were actually closed today. I couldn't believe it. The Dairy Queen was closed, and the Culver's was closed, and... Oh, what else was closed? The Target was closed, and Mills Fleet Farm was closed. Everybody's closed. Ah, I was surprised. I thought, good on them. Been a long time. When I was a little boy, everything was closed. Yeah, everything. You couldn't get nothing. And you know what? If you needed toilet paper, you were in bad shape, because there wasn't no place to get any. So you just going to have to run around with a dirty butt or something. But, anyway, that's, uh, that's what I've been thinking about, uh, anyway, the, the, the new and the old for Easter and how people celebrate it. Of course, the Walmart was open. Yeah, that's always going to be open no matter what, you know, oh, virus -y thing or whatever, and it's still open. Yeah. And that's where a lot of people get that stuff, that, that nasty word we can't say on social media anymore you know the c word that's the different c word and so i think uh you know i was really appreciative of all them people being closed it made me feel young again yeah it did yep and uh, anyway we're sitting here today no easter bunny but we didn't have no eggs hiding all the kids are all grown up and they moved away, so we don't see them very often. And so I want to wish my kids, wherever they may be, I want to wish them Happy Easter. And, you know, if they don't start paying better attention to me and their mama, I'm going to have to start naming them on here. Start name shaming them on here. Wonder what they think about that. <laughs> Oh, my Lord. Anyway, still irritating my wife with my half-faced beard. Yeah, that's coming in pretty nice, ain't it? Yeah, this side needs another little shave. Yeah, need to shave him bare. Yeah. Anyway, I just wanted to get on here and talk about little Easter and something else that was really bothering me today. And it bothers me a lot sometimes, but today it bothered me. As you know, I got that there Crohn's disease. That's nasty. Oh, that's the nastiest disease ever. And to talk about it is nasty. Oh, my Lord, you're talking about poopy butts. You talk about them fistulars. You get them fistulars, they're like boils, and you get them right up on the inside of the crack of your butt. And it, it hurts. Them things hurt. You got to lance them and get all the infection out. And if you don't get them lanced, them little things can make little tunnels. And they can go up inside you. And anyway, you end up with diarrhea a lot. And butt surgeries a lot sometimes. If you got them fistulas like I do. And they got you on these medications. And they lower your immune system. Yeah. That's terrible. You know, I got to tell you, you know, when I was first diagnosed with Crohn's, I had to go to this IV therapy. Every six weeks, you get this drug called Remicade. And with the Remicade, they gave me steroid injections, too. Anyway, I was up there, and I knew all them girls. I've been going there for, you know, four years. Up, so I knew all the nurses up there. And this one nurse come up, and... She tried to put that IV thing in, in me, and she couldn't find the blood vessel. She tried like three times, and she said, okay, I'll just get one of the others to come over. I must be having a bad day. I said, yeah, that's okay. I understand. And so the other one come over, the other nurse, she stuck that needle in me first and hit it the first time. Yeah, hit it the first time. And so I sat there. And sometimes take four hours, sometimes five hours. That little thing going, 
drippity drip, 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 drip. Four hours. I'm saying I'm taking a nap. I'm reading a book. You know, just bored as hell. So anyway, at the end of this one, the end when that bag's empty, the first nurse that tried to stick me three times, she come over to take that IV thing out. And I looked right at her, and I said, just a minute before you touch that. I said, I want you to guarantee me that you're going to pull that thing out on the first time. Oh, my Lord, everybody cracked up. Oh, my Lord. Anyway, that's all my Easter and my, and my, uh, my Crohn's disease talking for today. I appreciate y'all coming, and I hope you come again. And I hope you hit that subscribe button. Yeah, hit it. Have your friends hit that button too. And hit the bell notification. So when I do put up a video, you get notified right away. So you know that I put one up. Because I'm going to try and put one up as often as I can. Can't guarantee every day. But I'll put them up often. So just hit that notification bell and then you'll know that I did get one up. Okay, everybody? Well, thank you for being here. And we'll see you next time. And I hope you get what you wish and hope and pray for. All right. Bye-bye, y'all.